Howdy folks, today I'm going to show you how to be smarter than a General Motors engineer. It's not hard to do. Today I'm working on this 2017 Buick Enclave. It has the 3.6 liter 3600 overhead cam V6 engine. And I'm going to show you guys how to change the engine oil filter without spilling oil everywhere. Here's the bottom side of our 3600 V6 engine. This is a textbook example of the General Motors School of Inaccessible Oil Filters. There's the oil filter. You can just see the very end of it peeking out up there. It's actually inaccessible from the bottom side. So if I jam my arm into this hole right here, I can just touch the very end of it. I cannot get a grip on it. It's impossible to remove the oil filter from the bottom side. So you have to remove the oil filter from the top side which is a little bit of a challenge, but it can be done. The problem is you're gonna spill oil everywhere because the oil filter mounts from the side. And the second that you crack it loose, oil's gonna come pouring down on this front engine mount and all over the oil pan. Some of it might drip onto the, the uh, catalytic converter. There is no way to do this without making a mess. Or is there? All right, we're gonna need some stuff. Oil filter, of course, 15 millimeter wrench for the oil drain plug, and then some towels and maybe some brake clean because chances are good we're still gonna spill some oil. Depending on how tight your filter is, you may need an oil filter wrench. This one's made by Channel Lock. And then the real trick is you need a long, somewhat pointy tool. I'm using a Ladyfoot pry bar. It says Matco, but it's actually made by Mayhew. Doesn't have to be needle sharp just needs to be somewhat pointy and reasonably long. You'll also need a striking device, hammer preferably, and then this is the real secret right here. This is called a forma funnel. It's just a piece of rubber with some metal inside that's really malleable, and you can bend it and shape it and literally form a funnel in any configuration you can imagine. So what this is gonna let us do is create a channel for the oil to run out of the oil filter without getting all over the whole bottom side of the engine. I will put links in the description to where you can buy any of these tools or maybe just the specialty ones or whatever. Anyway, I realize not everybody has a form of funnel, even though you should, it's super handy. So we're gonna try something else, a low buck alternative. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll find out. We're gonna try creating a funnel using the cardboard from the box for the oil filter. I think you can peel this guy open. Maybe tear that one off, that one off. So we'll just tear all of them off. Okay, so now we've got a long channel. It's got a seam in it, so we'll try to keep that kind of in the direction of the oil flow. Now I think, just fold this guy up like so. All right, let's try it. So I'll stick my little piece of cardboard up here underneath the end of the oil filter. And then I've got a little piece of duct tape because I only have so many hands. So we're gonna use the duct tape to hopefully hold that piece of cardboard in place. Like so. Now we take our long pointy tool, stick it up to the oil filter, which is really hard to do when you guys are in the way. Uh 
like so. We want to get it right on the bottom, like the lowest point of the filter. Now give it a good whack, not like that. I can't see anything. Like so. Now, with any luck, we've penetrated the oil filter. Now, the oil should run into that channel and down into our drain pan. So that's the trick. We just let the oil drain out of the filter and into the oil drain pan and our life will be a whole lot easier. The form of funnel also makes a nice deflector. All right, we're done underneath. We're gonna go ahead and leave the tray right where it is. We're just gonna stick a rag kind of inside of it so no oil spills out on the floor. All right, now we can remove our oil filter. Sneak down in here with the wrench. Hopefully the last guy didn't put it on too tight. Oh, he did. He certainly did. Oh, fellas, you don't have to put a wrench on these things. Okay. Now, if we've done our job, we should spill just a very minimal amount of oil. It's got nine miles of thread. There. All right, we can reach down in here and pull out cardboard. Oh, man. We don't need that anymore. Looks like we did spill just a little bit of oil. And the brake clean's empty. And spin on the new oil filter. They put a lot of threads on that thing. There we go. Six quarts of five thirty Dexos. Huh. That's weird. It was already full. That never happens. Why like is there so much plastic? And why is like everything covered with something? Like there you can't even see like like Welcome to modern modern automotive engineering. Even the battery is like covered in a thingamajig of plastic. 
What about this stupid air filter? Place? Like, what is this? Why is this so big and so much plastic? I feel like it's just asking for other things to be broken. Uh, is there some sort of efficiency to it? I don't know if they can jam a 3.6 liter engine where it never should have gone, I guess. They probably put this in, they probably put in that and then this. Yep. Not wondering when you would ever need to take that off without taking this off. General Motors. Engineering prowess on full display. Clearly their engineers and designers don't actually work on vehicles. Nope. That's the stupidest airbox ever designed. Needs an air filter. <laughs> That's stupid. I just walked in and it's stupid. You heard the lady. Oh, General Motors. All right, GM. Why do you hate us so much? All we want to do is check the air filter. Oh, this is why I don't do oil changes. Oh, this is the worst one. Yeah, on a Toyota, flip two clips, tilt the box up, pull the filter out. <laughs> Alright folks, that's the last job of the day. What do you guys think? The cardboard definitely works and the price is right, but it's not as convenient as the form of funnel. And I've tried in the past taking the form of funnel and trying to shove it up, clear up underneath of the oil filter, and it just doesn't work. The, there's not enough of a lip there or whatever, it, it gets moved out of the way and you still end up spilling the oil everywhere. So piercing the filter is definitely the way to go. But you guys tell me what you think. If there's a better way or something I haven't thought of, type it out in the comment box. I'm all ears. Because there's tons of these 3600 V6s around, and this job's a pain in the butt. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Quick video. Uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.